Welcome to an Around the Dog world of two halves. We start the day watching the best of British puppies, followed by an afternoon jam-packed with the country's most successful champions. Welcome to the Yukonuba Dog World Stakes Finals. Well, we are finally here, the Yukonuba and Dog World Stakes Final Day. Diane Andrew, join us again. We've been looking forward to this for a while, haven't well, we? Well, it's exciting, isn't it? Well, it's always a, a very special competition with a high level of quality. But today is extra special. Not just the champions, but we've got the champions and the puppies. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, the, the, the pup of the year has been going on forever, long before the champion stakes. And, and now we've combined the Dog World Pup of the Year with the Yukonuba champion stakes for what is going to be hopefully a quite a spectacular day. It's the um, weekend of the year, isn't it? You know, it is the high spot of the year. It's people who have struggled and strived to, to win a round. Yeah. And we now see, arguably, the best puppies and the best champions in the country. Uh, the generosity of Yukonuba and Dog World is, is just sensational. Now, perhaps looking too much into it, but can we look a bit at the breeds that are here? Four Samoyeds? Mm -hmm. That is a record, I think. We've never had four of the same breed. But, you know, Samoyeds, in a big ring up against other breeds, the Samoyed is a breed that has an immediate presence. It's a Spitz breed, so it's, all, it's always showing. The, the Samoyed has this smiling expression. They are an instinctively attractive breed. They're brilliantly white. Silver tipped even. Silver tipped, with a little biscuit allowed. Let's not forget the biscuits. <laughs> now, a little later on, Andrew, you're taking over commentary duties in the champions. Mm -hmm. And the puppies doing the puppies. Uh, <laughs> we welcome back, Marina. Very nice to see you. Hi. Now, you have the task of commentating on these puppies. You must have been looking forward to it. Yeah, it's been really interesting, actually, because it's the first time I'm commentating on the Pup of the Year competition. It's something I've been involved with uh, at Dog World for uh, four, five, six years now. Um, but it's really exciting. So I've been interviewing all the um, competitors and a lot of them have actually been doing really, really well in these past few weeks as well. Um, so leading right up into the competition, some of them are on top form and a lot of them have been practicing in the ring beforehand as well. And you can see that with the photos that are around the rings, that actually is sometimes putting some of the puppies off. So it would be interesting to see how they yeah. do under the big spotlights. And you've a bit of insider information there. So you've seen some dogs are on form. We're, we're in for a good competition today. Oh, we're always in for a good competition at the Pup of the Year. Um, and Andrew and I, a few words on Miss Lanning, the, the judge today. Yeah, well, I ought to start this because Jean you Lanning... You should start this because you've known Jean since she was but a lass. Exactly. <laughs> Jean's mother bred Great Danes. Hilda. Hilda. Um, Placent and wonderful Great Danes. And I've known Jean forever. Um, completely at home. Jean is one of our most experienced judges. And she's a very down-to-earth, practical, common-sense girl. Always has been. And she'll get girl. on with it. And she'll get on with it, which is a bonus at my age. You get bored when they're, they're too, uh, when they stand and stare. No, Jean is perfect choice. Well, thank you very much, Andrew and I. The very best of luck, Marina. And in a few moments' time, we'll watch the Yukonuba Dog World Pup of the Year final. Good afternoon and welcome to the 2015 Yukonuba Dog World Pup of the Year competition. Now, last year's competition was won by the Beagle, champion Erdley Stupendous, who has gone on to win his champion title and take three championship show group two wins. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome into the ring last year's Cup of the Year winner, champion Erdley Stupendous. So, now straight on to this year's competition. First into the ring, the Hungarian Vizsla, the Newfoundland. Now, this Great Dane bitch at Birmingham National, we saw another Great Dane bitch, the Akita, the American Cocker Spaniel. Another Akita, this male Pomeranian. A week later, his kennel mate qualified, the Boxer. And now, the Briard, this Labrador, this Bichon Frise bitch won through. We saw another Bichon Frise win a heat, the Kazan, Golden Retriever. And now the Rottweiler, and to Richmond, this Lazarapso, another Pomeranian qualified for the final, a Beagle, the second of our American Cocker Spaniels, and finally our last qualifier for the Pup of the Year, the Toy Poodle. 
Now, on to introducing our judge, Miss Jean Lanning. Thank you. Over to you, Jean. So, our first Pup of the Year finalist is this Hungarian Vizsla bitch. This is Leiway's Lana Del Rey. Has two CCs. Thank you very much to the Hungarian Vizsla, the qualifier from Boston. Now moving on to this Newfoundland bitch. This is champion Bridgestone Grip It and Rip It. Puppy Group 1 at Darlington, Puppy Group 2 at South Wales. Thank you very much to the Newfoundland bitch from Manchester. Now on to the first of our two Great Danes, Selmalda Zizi's Journey. Put your hands together, everybody, for this Great Dane bitch from Welts. <laughs> puppy Group 1 and Reserve Best Puppy in Show at Southern Counties. Now this is her little mate. This is Selmalda Journey to Melody at Sam Dice. Reserve Best Puppy in Show at Birmingham National. The second of our Great Dane bitches, the qualifier from Birmingham National. Brenda Banbury chose Red Witch Dish of the Day. The Akita Bitch qualifier from Scottish Kennel Club in May. And this bitch has one CC and four reserves already. Now our judge is looking at the American Cocker Spaniel. Cold case, what a thrill for Balladiva. He was also Puppy Group 3 at Bath and Best Puppy and Dog at Crufts. And won Best Puppy and Show at a championship show. Now on to our second of our Akitas. This is Red Witch Cookie Cutter, the Akita bitch. And they nearly didn't make it to the show at Southern Counties as their van broke down on the way there. So Cookie arrived in style in the back of a breakdown truck. Now on the table is this Pomeranian dog, Brieslin License to Thrill. Mr. Bond has five first place wins at championship shows. Now, on to his kennel mate. This is the bitch, Brieslin Pims O'Clock. Pims has a CC, won at Scottish Kennel Club. Thank you very much to this Pomeranian bitch, the qualifier from Border Union. Now at Blackpool, this male boxer, New Lath Bug On. He was best puppy at Scottish Kennel Club and puppy group three. The Bl Blackpool qualifier, the boxer. This is a Briard, Bogency Blackberry. She's 13 months old and was puppy group winner at Paynton. She has six best puppy and breed wins and is current top puppy and breed. This is the qualifier from East of England. A Labrador, it's 15 months old, called Sully. It's got two reserve CCs. Was best puppy and show at Windsor. Thank you very much to the Labrador from East of England. Moving on to Paynton now with this 14-month-old Bichon Frise bitch, Manoir Sloan Ranger. Chelsea won the puppy group at Bournemouth. Qualifier from Paynton, the Bichon Frise. A few days later, we knew the qualifier from Bournemouth, Bichon Frise dog, Junanger's Jimmy Chu. The Bichon Frise, the qualifier from Bournemouth. Now on to the Kazund. This is Sam Keys with love to Naradmik. Freddie has two CCs. Put your hands together, please, for the Kazund from Welsh Kennel Club. Now the qualifier from Scottish Kennel Club. This golden retriever male, Largie Moore, live to love you. Scotia has won six puppy gun dog groups. And now we have this Rottweiler bitch, Fantasa Smirnoff Blue Violet. Violet has three reserve CCs, 10 Best Puppy Awards at championship shows. The Rottweiler bitch. This is Sheen Dean Paloma Faith. The Lars Apso. Ella has one reserve CC. She's current top puppy in breed. And she was also the Junior Stakes winner at Driffield. Now on the table, we have the third of our Pomeranians. This is champion Ray Mill, Mr. Know-It-All to Cassero top puppy all breeds the qualifier from darlington jill p chose this beagle Erdley merry berry berry has won the hound puppy group at bournemouth welsh kennel and Paynton. that was berry the beagle bitch from belfast this is banana dance mrs simpson wallace has one cc 
That's the American Cocker Spaniel Bitch, the qualifier from Driffield. This is Nasaline Tabloid Talk. Puppy group winner at SKC in August. Thank you very much. Put your hands together for our final finalist, the Toy Poodle from South Wales. Well, that's Jean seen all of the dogs, so come back after the break to see her shortlist and who she picks as Pup of the Year 2015. So we're going to have two shortlists today. So I think she's making a decision. Okay, so we've got the Newfoundland, the Great Dane. That's the qualifier from Welks. We've got the Akita from SKC. We've got the Pomeranian. The Labrador, the Bichon, the Kazent, and thank you very much to the rest. Please put your hands together for all the Pup of the Year finalists today. So this is the winner from Manchester, the Newfoundland. And this is the Great Dane, which won the heat at Welts. And now from Scottish Kennel Club's May Show, this is the Akita. Qualifying at three counties, this is the Pomeranian male. And to east of England, where this was the Labrador. This was the heat winner from east of England. And the Bichon Frise, which qualified at Paynton. And making the shortlist was also this Bichon Frise, which qualified at Bournemouth. Qualifying at Welsh Kennel Club was this Kazan. And to Richmond, this was the qualifier, the Lazarapso. And this is the qualifier from Darlington, the Pomeranian. Qualifying from Belfast, this is the Beagle. This is the American Cocker Spaniel, it qualified at Driffield. And finally, the last dog to make the cut here at the Pup of the Year finals. It's the Toy Poodle, which qualified from South Wales. Okay, so our judge is going to make a second shortlist. She promises me it'll be around seven dogs, but with Miss Lanning, anything goes. <laughs> So making the second cut, the Akita, the Labrador, the Bichon from Bournemouth, the Kazand from Welsh Kennel, the Lazarapso from Richmond, the Beagle from Belfast, and the American Cocker Spaniel from Driffield. Thank you very much to those shortlisted dogs. Congratulations on getting this far. Our judge may move them once more. These are the top seven in the Pup of the Year competition 2015.
the inevitable happens. We are at a dog event after all. <laughs> Miss Lanning, have you made a decision for the first time at the Pup of the Year finals? In conjunction with Yukon Uber and Dog World, we have placings from first to fifth. And your winner? The Labrador! Yeah. The Labrador. <laughs> Congratulations to the Labrador Retriever, the qualifier from East of England. And second, it's the Beagle from Belfast. Third place goes to the Lars Abso that qualified at Richmond. Fourth place, the Bichon Frise. And finally, the American Cocker Spaniel that qualified at Driffield. It's your winner, the Pup of the Year Final 2015, the Labrador Retriever, Matt and Exodus. Followed by the Beagle, the Lars Abso. In fourth place, the Bichon Frise. And fifth, the American Cocker Spaniel. Sharon, huge congratulations. Thank you very much. Tell us a little bit about this Matanda Exodus. I've He's him myself. Yeah. Um, I've been in Labradors for nearly 30 years now. And um, he's just a joy to own. And it's we, a joy to own and a joy to show. I, I believe we watched him earlier on in the year winning Best Puppy in Show at Windsor. We did, yes. So he's had a very successful puppy we've career. Been, we've been very lucky this year. Yeah, very successful. You must be rather overwhelmed. <laughs> I am, very much so, very much so. And I would just like to say to all the people in Labradors, I'm glad we did you proud. I really am. I've had so much support from people. He's um, we really vocal. Have. <laughs> he's vocal. He's wanting to go out. <laughs> um, now, he's had, he's had that such successful puppy career, yep. but in Labradors, the, the number of of entries is so huge. Yes. What can you hope for for that transition to, to adult competition? What can I hope for? I presume we all hope that we can make our dogs up. Yeah. Uh, that would be that would be absolutely marvellous. It'd be the first one I've made up, but anything more. Well, I think I believe in the history of Pup of the Year, there's only one winner that hasn't become a champion. So you never know. Well, <laughs> let's hope it continues. Congratulations! Um, a massive award, and hopefully we see more of him. As, a, as an adult. Now, we've, we've got to speak to the, the reserve winners. He's, he's showing off there. Um, reserve winners this year, but you might remember uh, winners last year. Yeah, we're a bit, yeah, a bit greedy. But we're a bit more composed this year. And uh, like I say, we, well, we certainly weren't expecting that from after last, uh, last year's win. It, uh, it's super, but um, no, really over the, overjoyed again. What? And, and, and Timmy tried to show you up a little. Very much so, yeah, yeah. That I knew she wanted one from eight o'clock this morning. But what, what do you do? You know, this is this is a beagle for you, unfortunately. When I heard Marina say, uh, "Oh well, it's a dog show. That's what dogs do," I thought, "Please don't let it be Barry. Please don't let it be Barry." <laughs> and then the, the the young girl with the uh, with the poodle. poodle comes out and said, "This is off Tim." I thought, "Oh <laughs> no!" But you can cut that bit, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> Please, but no, it's been fantastic. Really? But like I said, th these dogs don't come along all the time, you know. I mean, it's just we are just so so lucky at the moment to have uh, you know have the sort of dogs that we've got. You know, I mean, we're just just really over over the moon. Congratulations again, gentlemen, and we'll see you again in the awards next year, no doubt. Uh, we've got to find uh, Jean Lanning, who judged all of the puppies today. Jean, Jean, please don't don't run away. We need a, I need a few words with you. Yeah. Oh, did did you enjoy that? Oh, of course I enjoyed it, and um, when I saw the Labrador, there were some wonderful puppies out there, but immediately I thought, this dog's going to be hard to beat today. Everything about it was so good. Um, yeah, obviously, the, the competition is very high as well. Absolutely, but it, it's a beautiful dog. It's quite outstanding. It it's, uh, looks right, it's constructed right, it moves right, it's got a wonderful front, beautiful feet. And um, what about your placings? The Beagle was second. Yeah, that is a beautiful Beagle. It, ran, it was running the Labrador quite close. It's absolutely sound, well balanced. But even on the day, I think, think the Labrador just stood away from all the other competition. It's just an exceptional dog. But 
I can honestly say the um, standard was very high all through. And British dogs are still top, top class. Pup of the Year 2015 was Matt and Exodus, the Labrador Retriever. Andrew, you, you've been involved with this breed before. Uh, were you impressed? Well, not, not, not directly. I've been around Labradors yeah. a long time, but I know a little bit about this dog because there is a bit of a story to it. And when I got here this morning and saw Mrs. Lambert with this dog, I had a quiet word with her because my good friend Peter Green, a Welshman living in the States, had spotted this dog at South Wales yeah. and he and his partner Beth Swigert said that this, was, this dog was so exciting they had to have it. So they tried to talk Mrs. Lambert into selling the dog and surprisingly she wants to keep him. I've never really seen him at close quarters until today. The dog is sensational. For him to be 14 months and not have picked up a CC is, is bizarre. Ticked all your boxes, Di? Absolutely. And interestingly, I sat with Annalise, who is the, um, the managing director or whatever of Yukonuba, who is, has a working Labrador. But even she said, this is lovely, isn't it? Although she prefers a working strain, it's an outstanding Labrador. We were all Patricia Sutton, the whole row of us, and the Beagle, coincidentally. And that's the story, isn't it? Winner last year, reserve this One year. last year and reserve this year. Um, a great kennel, two young men who really um, know what they're doing. And I thought Jean, as we expected, was efficient and got on with it, and I liked her shortlist. There is no substitute for age and experience, Simon. <laughs> Not even youth and treachery. <laughs> Um, Andrew, it's the first year... I never had you down for being treacherous. I mean, youthful, but yes. I'm, I don't know. She says it. We've got to agree. Um, first year under the Yukonuba branding, this Pup of the Year competition in association with Dog World. Mm -hmm. Went pretty smoothly so far, didn't it? It went extremely smoothly. But, I mean, for me, I'm sorry, but the, the Labrador just eclipsed everything. I mean, I was, you just couldn't take your eyes off. Uh, Ever, Simon, in my opinion, there wasn't one of those puppies that you thought, how the hell did that get here? They were of a good standard throughout. I agree with Mr Brace, the Labrador was outstanding, but they were a good quality lot of puppies. Well done, all of you. Well, thank you, Di. Thank you, Andrew. And we'll come back after the break for the Yukonuba Champion Stakes final. Welcome back to Around the Dog World here at the Chesford Grange Hotel. Before the break, we watched Sully the Labrador become Pup of the Year 2015. But now it's time to watch the established champions in the Yukonuba Champion Stakes fight. Before we start, I would ask you to welcome into the ring last year's winner, Debbie Pearson's Shetland Sheepdog, champion Edgelonian singing the blues, better known as Sid. Many of you were here last year and will remember the swell of emotion that greeted my announcement that Debbie wasn't going to Dallas, but she was going to Amsterdam. Well, ladies and gentlemen, prepare for a little more emotion. Debbie has decided that, as of today, at eight years of age, Sid will be retired at the scene of last year's great victory. Please show your appreciation for Sid and his sporting owner as they leave the ring for the last time. So it's now time to introduce our individual Yukonuba Champion Stakes finalists. So give them a big hand, please, as they come in the Border Terrier, the Skipperke, the German Shorthaired Pointer, the Australian Shepherd, the Maltese, the Tibetan Terrier, the Whippet, the Papio, another Australian Shepherd, the Pyrenean Mountain Dog, the Welsh Terrier, the Pointer, one of the Samoids, the Norwegian Bohund, the Basenji, the German Wirehead Pointer, the Sky Terrier, another Samoid, a Bull Mastiff, another Basenji, the French Bulldog, another Border Terrier, 
another Samoyed, another Bull Mastiff, the Beagle, the Picking Ease, and finally another Samoyed. Our judges today are two young men who I can honestly say have the admiration of any serious dog exhibitors for their dedication to the sport. So please put your hands together for Jeff Horswell and Mark Kokosa. Thank you, Annalise. So our judges will now have a little walk around and our two judges are going to mark each dog and then the final seven are going to be judged individually again. Again, receiving a new set of points out of 100 and that will determine our final five placings. So on the table now we have dog number one and this is a five-year-old Border Terrier male He's won 12 challenge certificates and 11 best of breeder championship shows. Champion Dandy Howe, Dr. Walter. He is also the sire of the other Border Terrier who is competing today. So, handing over the clipboard so that Mark and Jeff can mark the dog out of 100. And they then move on to the skipper kit male. Geordie is the winner of 28 CCs. He won the group at Richmond and group two at Midland Counties last year and was best in show at Booba in 2010. Now this is dog number four. Morgan is now six years of age and previously won group three at Crufts in 2013. Show champion and Netherlands champion, Kavakan Toff at the top. Now we have the Manchester qualifier. <laughs> Champion Hearthside, Man of Mystery at Dialin. Austin has now won 16 CCs. On the table now, we have this three-year-old Maltese male. He's the winner of 14 challenge certificates. Champion Benetton, Design and Label. The Tibetan Terrier male, who's now two and a half years of age, and he's also won two utility groups and one group four. This is Jagger, otherwise known as Champion Tetsimi Moves Like Jagger. And leaping up onto the table with great enthusiasm, we have the Whippet. He's now won 37 cc's. Shall fleet simply a lord, Troy. This is the two-year-old Papillon male, who was best in show at the East of England. He's won seven toy groups. Glen Iron, shooting star maker, Sanshu, known as Travis. The four-year-old Australian Shepherd bitch. She's now won the total of 43 challenge certificates. Champion and finished champion, Allmark Fifth Avenue, known as Tiffany. Cody has won 14 challenge certificates. He was best in show at Border Union and reserve best in show at East of England this year. Charivet, simply special at Chisana. This is the Welsh Terrier. Bullet is the winner of 16 CCs. Champion and Irish champion, Kebulak Trigger Happy. Now the four-year-old Pointer Bitch. She's won 29 CCs. She's won seven gun dog groups, one best in show. The pointer, show champion, Sean Philly, Juicy Couture. The five-year-old Samoyed male. Zeus has won six CCs. He's won one group one and one group two. This is champion Van Dream Imperial K. The Norwegian Buhund male. Mo famously won the group under Paolo Dondina at Southern Counties when he was just 10 months old. Champion Arns Croft, Dynamo Farah of Coromandel. The two-year-old Persenji bitch number 18. Matilda has won six CCs. Champion, American and Canadian champion, 
Classics Girl with a Curl. The two-year-old German wirehead pointer. Show champion Bariv Bontepoxkral. Bailey, the German wire pointer. He's won two group ones whilst only 12 months of age. The Sky Terrier is a six-year-old male. Champion Selena, the special one. He won the Terrier Group at Crufts in 2013. The Samoyed Male. Harley won the group at East of England in 2013 and Bournemouth this year. Champion Nikara Ice Diamond. The four-year-old Bull Mastiff male. He's won eight groups. He topped the working group in the Dog of the Year competition last year, finishing as runner-up champion Old Manila's Whiskey Mac for Optimus. On the table now is the Basenji number 24. Merlin has won nine CCs. Champion Kisangani caught in the act for Milucris. On the table now is the French Bulldog male number 25. He's won nine CCs and five times he's been best of breed. Champion Chelm Bull Moon Pilot. The three-year-old Border Terrier male. Grimley's won 18 CCs and twice has been reserved best in show all breeds. Champion Brackenfell Bock to Bar. This is the two and a half year old Samoyed male who he's won one CC, but overseas has won 10 CACs, three CACIBs, smiling snowball Russian emperor at Samarovich. This is number 28, Kif the Bull Mastiff. Last year he was best in show at the famous Sydney Royal Show. Champion and Australian champion Costog Mompesson's homebrew, otherwise known as Kiff. The Beagle, number 29, he's won 14 cc's, two reserves, and five times has been best of breed. Number 29, we have the Beagle male Davricard Harrison. And now the two and a half year old Pekingese male, number 30, who qualified at South Wales. He's won seven CCs. It's the Pekingese male, Yaki, it must be him. And finally, we come to number 31, the two-year-old Samoyed male. He was best in show at Windsor. This is champion Van Dream Imperial Cruise. I am going to call out the judges' final seven, and they will be called out in catalogue order, remaining in for the next round of scoring is dog number two, the Skipper King. Number five, the Australian Shepherd. Number six, the Maltese. Number 21, the Sky Terrier. Could I ask number 23, the Bull Mastiff, to step forward? It's a good day for Bull Mastiffs. Number 28, step forward, please. Who is going to be the seventh finalist? Number 31, the Samoyed, please. Could we say thank you very much as we say goodbye to the other finalists and congratulate them on winning through to the Yukonuba Champion Stakes Finals. Now our two judges can look at the final seven going around once they are then going to leave the ring. And please, ladies and gentlemen, cheer them on as they battle it out for a place in Amsterdam. The Skipper Key, the Australian Shepherd, the Maltese, the Sky Terrier, the Bull Mastiff, the Bull Mastiff again, and the Samoyed. That's a bit more like it. 
So can we have the skipper key back in? And I think Jeff and Mark are probably going to want a little bit more movement because they are looking for a dog that will really represent the UK well when it goes to Amsterdam in December. At the second level of competition, the seven dogs are getting a completely clean sheet and again being scored out of 100. The two-year-old Australian Shepherd now. The three-year-old Maltese, the UK Toy Dog qualifier. The six-year-old Sky Terrier male who qualified at Painton. Number 23, the Welsh Kennel Club Bull Mastiff qualifier. And our second Bull Mastiff, the four and a half year old male, the Belfast qualifier. And our final finalist is the two year old Samoyed male. Okay, you see, if you dream and hope long enough, all your wishes come true. We're gonna have a tie break. But I'm not gonna tell you for which position. So, we need back in the ring, number two, the skipper key, and number 23, the bull mastiff. Number two and number 23, back in the ring, please. This is going to be fun if they get one each. Okay, it's decision time. The dog placed fifth out of the final seven is number two, the skipper key. In fourth position, number 21, the Sky Terrier. In third place, the Australian Shepherd, number five. In second place, the Samoyed. So, who do we need to find out whether or not they have a passport? The first person we need to ask is actually Sarah Jackson and her Maltese. So it looks like bandits off to Amsterdam, along with Sarah Jackson. Sarah and Bandit, we've seen you before, but this must rank pretty highly on the awards. It's one of the best awards I've ever won, and to win it, it's magnificent. They're all outstanding dogs. Anyone could win on any day, but I'm so, I'm so pleased. And at least he'll represent England in Amsterdam in December, so that'll be good. The Maltese, tell us what you thought. Well, they put in a, a really great performance. It's beautifully presented, beautifully made, and moved really, really well. I mean, I just endorse everything Jeff just said, and it's going to put in a great performance at the final in Amsterdam and fly the flag for the UK. I'm just working out how he's going to get there because he's not flying. <laughs> so, 
He's always presented immaculately. Tell us how you keep him in such incredible condition. But he has loads of freedom. He runs around the house, and the house is quite big. Um, but we just work hard with him, bath yeah. him every five days, and work hard. You were obviously coming in to two secret judges, but when you found out it was them, had they seen him before? Were you expecting him? I think don't hold me to it. I think Jeff Horswell judged him as a youngster yeah. at one of his first open shows before I started to campaign him. Wow. And I think he gave him best, if I'm right, I'm right, I'm open, I'm right, he gave him best of breed, so okay. he really, I knew he really liked him. Now, this is a, a, a field of established champions in the UK. What do you think of the quality? Oh, it's the cream of, of, of British dogs. And um, we had some of our, the very top winners here. It's a very interesting to actually get to go over so many in one day. Were you impressed, Mark? Yeah, I mean, it was very even. You know, it was actually a difficult decision. We could have gone so many ways there. Probably right down to that last final go around, everything probably went on that, for me anyway, so. And of course, unfortunately, at that stage, it's totally on performance, yeah. and some dogs went better than others. He's, he's obviously an established champion. He's won lots. Is, he, is his career going to continue? He's going to be campaigned all next year. Fantastic. But I do have a new import from America, what does need to come out sooner or later. <laughs> but I want to take him to Crufts in 2017, right. and then he'll be retired. Talk us down, down your line, the Samuel Edwards set. Yes, um, but again, put on a really good performance, really pretty face. Andrea, Nicola, congratulations on coming second. Thank you very much. Um, he's had a very short career, but my goodness, it's been successful, hasn't it? Very, yeah, very successful actually. It's been a great career for him. And he's been out for five months this year. He, he, uh, we were going to retire him after Crufts, but then we thought we'd give him a break, see how we come back out. And he's, he come back out in September, better than ever. <laughs> you must be pretty pleased with that decision now. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. yeah, definitely. The number of Van Dream dogs we're seeing in groups all over the place, you've got to be so proud. Absolutely. That's what we do. That's what I breed for, to see them in the ring. And I love to see it. Uh, the Australian Shepherd, Mark? Yeah, I mean, again, performance. His presentation was immaculate, his condition was immaculate. Probably one of the best handled dogs there. You can see the amount yeah, yeah. of work that had been put in there between handler and dog, and it shows. Uh, and I believe the Sky Terry, you've given a group to before at Bath. Yes, I've given the Sky group. Um, the Sky has got an unbelievably good front. That front is textbook. He's a beautifully made, beautifully muscled dog with a lot of strength and power. Um, and I believe the Skipper Key you've judged before. I have. I've <laughs> given I've given the Skipper Key a group actually. So and again, I mean, he's very typical for his breed. He's got this lovely, solid white front, slightly narrower rear, you know, and he holds himself beautifully on the move. And you know, he's so collected and alert. This is the first time that you can have earned Dog World. I've I've done this this day in conjunction. How do you think it's gone? Yeah, I, mean, I think it's great. I mean, I think having the combination of puppies and seeing it right through to the fruition of, you know, what everybody's striving for to get a champion. I mean, I think it's a great idea and it's been executed marvellously. Well, there you are. The Yukonuba Champion Stakes final winner for 2015 was Bandit the Maltese. I've seen this dog before. What a performer. Yeah, didn't we mention her last week and yeah. say this girl virtually gave over her life to dogs? What a um, justified reward for her. The top line, it just looked lovely. And those two young men really impressed, didn't they? I can't speak too highly of the whole thing. And as far as Yukonuba and, and Dog World to put on a day like this for us, it's just great. Um, we'll move down the line. Samoyed, so well supported. This young dog. Yeah. Great. Never put a foot wrong. Always landed balanced, did you notice? Brilliantly presented. That white tipped excellence and the smile. And Melanie Spaven, we've seen her with Austin before. What handles him so well. And I tell you what, he's one of those dogs that looks at you. He uses, you know, he, he, he uses his head and um, she presents him so well. A very balanced dog. Andrew's, Andrew's on Yukonuba duty, but this is one he's given a group to in, in fourth place, the Sky Terrier. Yes. Stunning. Not everybody's breed, but that's a good one, no question. Um, and another one Andrew's done well, the Skipper Key in fifth. Yes, and so has Mark. I've got a feeling yes. Mark's yes. given that a group. It's a lovely Skipper Key. It's got a little leg under it, so it's it's the right make and shape. It's buoyant. And don't you think it's quite interesting that last year we talked about watch bull mastiffs. There's some good bull mastiffs about, and for two to be here and in the final. Yeah. But no, it was just lovely. Thank you so much, everybody, for inviting us. I really enjoyed it, and a whole day of judging. Everyone says that you'll watch a dog anywhere, but you must have really enjoyed today. I loved it, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll watch him in a cold field, won't I? <laughs> so you can imagine how I like it here. And 
the Champion Stakes is obviously a fantastic event to win, but to have that extra significance of Sarah's now got that ticket to Amsterdam to compete against the best in the world. That's, yeah. that's incredible. Yeah, it is incredible. And how lovely for her. And we know she's going to present that dog to the nth degree. Um, she's, she's, going to, she's going to present the dog better than she presents herself. That girl <laughs> loves her dogs and will really go to any lengths for them. Well, thank you very much, Di. I enjoyed it. I'm sure you did, as did several hundred around the ring. Congratulations to Sully and to Bandit. Good luck to Bandit when he visits Amsterdam. Now, we look ahead head now to LKA where all the final positions in the top dog table will be decided. Mm -hmm.